हेलो चिल्ड्रन दिस इज नेहा हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आदित्य किड्स एजुकेशन टुडे यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर जोन्स और हीट जोन्स ऑफ द अर्थ यू नो अर्थ इज फियर इन शेप बिकॉज ऑफ दिस द सन रेज और द हीट ऑफ द सन रेज इज नॉट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड यूनिफॉर्मली ओवर द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ एट ऑल द प्लेसेज when the rays of the sun falls straight vertically on the earth surface the intensity of the heat is maximum you can also also say intensity means um, you can take um, as a power of the sun rays okay it is maximum but areas above the equator towards the poles get slanted rays of the sun the more slanting the rays the longer distance have to travel the sun rays and more it will scatter at the areas on the earth surface less will the intensity of the heat at last the rays will be diffuse or disappear taking all these factors earth is divided into three heat zones torrid zones temperate zones and frigid zones Now let's have a look on these zones in detail. So first we will talk about torrid zone. The midday sun is exactly overhead. Midday that is noon time. So the midday sun is exactly overhead at least once a year on all latitudes in between Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This area receives the maximum heat. and is called torrid zone now see in the picture you will be more clear about torrid zone you know the sun is exactly overhead at the noon time okay so torrid zone lies between tropic of cancer at 23 and 1/2 degree north and to the tropic of capricorn at 23 and 1/2 degree south because the rays of the sun falls vertically straight at the area that is in the red color that you can see also and the intensity of the rays is maximum thus temperature is high and that is very very hot okay and this is known as torrid zone now we will talk about temperate zone there are two temperate zones they are north temperate zone and south temperate zone let's have a look on them in detail okay first see in the picture you will notice two blue color portion of the earth can you see it they are temperate zones and temperate zones receive slanting sun rays as you can see So let's talk about north temperate zone. The area is bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the northern hemisphere. North temperate zone has moderate temperature because the sun rays goes on decreasing towards the pole. The image will clear you about north temperate zone. Okay? This is the northern po uh, northern hemisphere of the Earth. Okay, don't be confused. You can see in the bottom there is a equator line. Okay, the blue color portion is the north temperate zone. It lies between the Tropic of Cancer, twenty three degree half north, and Arctic Circle, sixty six and half degree north. The rays of the sun. falls is slanting and the rays has to travel more it has to cover more distance it scatter more so the intensity of the heat is low as compared to torrid zone next is south temperate zone the area is bounded by the tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere south temperate zone has also moderate temperature 
because sun's rays goes on decreasing towards the pole. Now see in the picture, the blue portion below the equator. Now this image is showing as the southern hemisphere. So the blue portion below the equator is south temperate zone. It lies between the Tropic of Capricorn 23 and half degrees south and Antarctic Circle 66 and half degree south. The sun rays goes on decreasing towards the pole. As we go towards the pole, the rays of the sun goes decreasing. As the intensity of the heat is also low, therefore the place in the temperate zones have a moderate climate. And moderate climate means that is hot in summer and cold in winter. Okay. Next we will talk about frigid zone. The area are bounded between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole and the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. Frigid zones are very cold. It is because here the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Sun rays are always slanting and provides less heat. Okay, now see in the picture. Frigid zones lies between Arctic Circle and North Pole. As you can see, and Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. Okay. And the rays of the sun does not reach much above the horizon. Sun rays are always slanting. So the intensity of the heat is very, very less as compared to temperate zone. Because of this, frigid zone have very cold climate. The area of the zone, the reason of the zones have a very snowfall and mostly areas are covered with snow and ice okay so here we complete all about latitudes and heat zones if you want to see more interesting video then please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of such videos okay in the next videos in the next upcoming video, we will talk about longitudes. Okay. So till then, stay safe and be focused on your studies. Okay. Bye children.